All right, this is question nine from lesson seven, and I've had some requests with this one. This one's always a tricky one, mainly because it's a proof. It's a proof, and for students that know what proofs are, that uh, makes them shudder and shiver a little bit on that. For people that don't know what a proof is, well, you're in for a treat. So what a proof is, is basically we'll want to show that the left side of our equation is equal to the right side. So whenever you see proof, you need to know I have to set up left side or LS. My left side is equal to the magnitude of A cross B. And then the right side, so RS, right side equals the square root of A dot A, B dot B, minus A dot B, all squared. So what it, it's kind of like a game. I mean, some of you that know what proofs are thinking, yeah, some freaking sadistic game maybe but it is just a game what you're trying to do is you're trying to make left side and the right side show that they're equal to each other or they're the exact same thing so what i do is i always start with the ugly side and by definition the ugly side is got the most stuff on it so i'm going to be working on this side and we're going to see what we can do with that left side so inside the square root sign i'm going to see what i can do now, a vector dotted with itself simply becomes the magnitude of that vector squared. So a dot a, by definition, if you look back in your note, a dot a is just the magnitude of a squared. Similarly, b dot b, magnitude of the vector squared, minus, well, this is where I'm going to use the FOIL rule. So earlier, you had to do some FOILing back in the dot product, and this is the lead-in or the y you need to be able to do that. So I'm going to FOIL that. People that don't know what FOILing is, it's just distributive law between two binomials. So I'm going to end up with a dot a, which we know is the magnitude of a squared. And actually, you know what? I'm going to change change gears here. Because you're probably I'm thinking I got a quicker way to do this question make our lives a lot easier. So I'm just going to go back a step and I realize that a dot b, we have a formula for a dot b because you have done the dot product already. a dot b, I'm going to do a replacement. So a dot b, if you look back to your note, is magnitude of a, magnitude of b, uh, dot product would be cos beta. That's all going to be squared. So I just did a formula replacement here. Again, if you look back in your note, you would remember that that is the formula. So what that allows me to do now is to distribute that square in. So I have the magnitude of a squared, magnitude of b squared, cos squared theta. And now I have like terms. I like where this is going. So I'm going to common factor out magnitude of a squared, magnitude of b squared, and I'm left with 1 minus cos squared theta. And this is where the advanced functions MHF4U comes into play here. It's a trig identity. So the magnitude of A squared, magnitude of B squared. If you check your formula sheet I provided you, it would also tell you that that is sine squared theta. And because everything is multiplication, we can take the square root of everything. So this becomes magnitude of A, magnitude of B, sine theta. All right. Now, left side doesn't equal right side. Well, if we go back to our notes, we know that by definition, the magnitude of A cross B is A magnitude of B, sine theta. That's what we won. So therefore, left side is equal to right side, as shown or demonstrated in your, uh, your written work here. All right, so if you have any questions, questions like this, they're just playing, with, playing games with substituting formulas and simplifying factoring. So hopefully that uh, kind of helps you out, and if you run into any more of these questions, it'll, uh, it'll give you an idea of where to start. If you have any questions, let me know.